Hi guys, welcome to Boss Up with Dr. Wamboi Gishigi. I know it's been some time, but guess what? We are back here. If it's your first time in this show, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. And I mean, eh? so today I have brought you this beautiful woman, and we are here to show you that if God has a purpose for you, it doesn't really matter where you start, you're going to get there. Eh? You're going to get there. You don't don't lose hope for sababu. Welcome, like, share, comment, and stay tuned. Hi, Nzeri. Hi, Purity. How are you doing? I am fine. Welcome to Boss Up with Dr. Mambui Shiki. Feel at home. <laughs> yes, you're allowed to breathe in, breathe out. Yes. First of all, me fry. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for inviting me to your channel. I'm honored. Mm -hmm. uh, COVID, me go to COVID. Eh? COVID, me go to COVID. Uh, yeah, the same for everyone, but yeah. we thank God yeah. to me come through. I mean, to me fika up. So, yes. Yeah, it's, I mean, we, all we can be is thankful at this point. See, it's very easy with life. You yeah. just take it as it comes. Leo, Kesho, Yendele. Exactly. And um, so as we start, you can introduce yourself. Yeah. So, my name is Jerry, mm -hmm. or Mama Ayla. My full name is actually Sarah Masi Jerry. Mm -hmm. I'm a mother of one girl who will be turning nine next girl. month. Yeah, <laughs> very beautiful, very beautiful girl. girl. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, what else? I was born in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Muranga, Kagema. Then I came back uh, to Nairobi for, for work and to look for money. Um, come from a family of two, myself mm -hmm. and my sister. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? I work, um, I work in one of the international companies. Mm -hmm. I, I head uh, um, East and West Africa, mm -hmm. uh, one of the departments. Before you go there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what about what was the good things are happening first? Let's go back uh -huh. a bit. Eh? Uh -huh. Tell us your childhood. Eh? Wow. Um, well, that's where God has taken exactly. you from. Eh? <laughs> you know, the it, beginning of things. Where did Njeri come from? Yeah. So, was it there where you were born? I'm where I was you born came in from? Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Mini Bontao. Bontao. So, Shago. What was Nyandaru? So, actually, the reason why we are here is mm. basically to tell that story. Yes. It's a deep story. And... Um, for those who know me may not have known this story and some of them know yeah. i just want to give a disclaimer i'm giving this story to for encouragement i'm yes. encouraging different kind of people which i'll mention mm -hmm. uh, as we go through the story yes so i was i don't know whether i was born i don't i can't call it being born mm -hmm. um my mother and when i mention my mother is the the biological now? No, okay, it's not my biological mother. My mm -hmm. mother is the ma the woman who brought me up. Okay. She'll remain my mother. So yes, there's no other mother I'll mention yes. in this video. Okay. So my mother was a cleaner mm -hmm. uh, in a hospital um, in, in Nairobi, in town. Mm -hmm. And um, she was unfortunate not to be able to get kids. Okay. So she, I mean, of course, it's a lonely life. Yes. When, when you're not able to get kids. Um, I think she even lost her marriage because, because of that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's elderly. My mother right now is turning 80. Oh. Yeah, so you can so imagine. So then she was still old. Yeah, and you can mm -hmm. imagine that time, the, the curse of not getting a kid. Eh? I mean, now I, I an think. An African home yeah, or marriage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Must yeah. Be tough. It was tough. Mm -hmm. It was tough. So... As she worked in the hospital, of course, um, abortion is not something that started now. It's always been there. Yes. And people used to come and abort, and she would always try to salvage the fetuses. Never worked. But now, here well, is where the story. There. Yeah, as in not wait, mm -hmm. but or just whenever she mm -hmm. will see some kind of hope. Yeah. In, in a fetus, mm -hmm. she try and pamper, you know, yeah, do anything, okay. See, but yeah, survive. yeah, she was never lucky mm -hmm. to, I mean, to salvage. Okay. But then this day came, mm -hmm. which I call um, the day of the Lord, mm -hmm. 
Um, so the story is how, I mean, I, I do not have facts. Yes. You're Just the doctor the here. <laughs> <laughs> I yes. don't have facts. Mm-hmm. So be, this is what I know mm-hmm. as a layman. How they will do abortions at that time, they would like, uh, if you want to abort, they will, you'll go, they will induce you some some drugs or something. Yes. They'll give it time mm-hmm. to kill the fetus. Mm-hmm. Then, then it will just come out. Or they induce you labor, yes. then you give birth normal. Normal. Yeah, yes. but now to a dead fetus. Yes. So I think it was a clean job, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. I think less riskier. So this day of the Lord, mm-hmm. three women came to, to do the procedure, or rather the patients for that day were three women. Mm-hmm. Um, still abortion was illegal. Yes. So you will be admitted as a sick person or antenatal, or I don't know how they used to do it. But in this case, um, they did the, the, the drugs thing, mm-hmm. but when they went to the third woman, the, the, the drug was over. But you see, there's the waiting time. Yes. So this third woman was told, um, you wait, we'll do it tomorrow when we have the drug. And then shifts changed. And I think it's in this shift that my mom now came in. I think it was an evening shift or whatever. Mm-hmm. But you know, hospitals, they always work in shift. Yes, so it's yes. this, this is the shift that mm-hmm. my, the, my mom came. Okay. And um, the person now who induces labor, mm-hmm. a different person, unfortunately or fortunately induced all the three again yeah so you see these two mm-hmm. have already you know their fetuses They're have already waiting, been yeah. taken care mm-hmm. of or now they induced to, to now like to give eh, birth. Eh. Okay. but you see this one still the fetus is kicking still they are still intact because they, they didn't uh, yeah. they didn't he do the drug it, thing yeah. so labor was induced course I don't know what happened to these two so I'm going to concentrate on this one person mm-hmm. who gave birth to this fetus um, seven months pregnancy so I mean oh well, she was aborting a seven months okay yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so she was aborting a seven months pregnancy and so my mom was called you know as usual uh, she, they used to call her Kadogo 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 come you know you mm. can you can try this one and my mom tried, and the fetus was okay. Um, put like a cotton wool or whatever, because at that time you have to wait like like for us. I think the the main doctor mm. to what do we call it to to authorize you mm. to get an incubator. Yeah, you see, yeah, my mom true. is a cleaner, as in, yeah, yeah, as in she she's has... she's not even the one who ex- has given birth. Uh, exactly, and then yeah. she has no no authority there. You yes, know, true. she's not even a nurse. At she can use medical terms yeah, or whatever. True, yeah. So at least, the, I mean, I got her, the fetus got her, mm-hmm. an incubator. Mm-hmm. And that fetus turned out to be me. So... Um, for those who see me in Kiji Chacha, it's because from birth, me have been a fighter, like me and you, let me say. For sure, for sure. Yeah, so, uh, that's yeah, the, sure. like, it's, it's, it's really a hard story to tell. For sure. But it's also a very beautiful story yes. to tell, because mm-hmm. if you look at how far God has brought yeah. me, you can see how God purposes. They say from before you were born, yeah, God yeah. had a plan for you. Exactly. No, you for you, God had really had As a plan. In, for this you. is the now the yeah, true yeah, yeah. testimony of mm-hmm. how God had a plan is it for in me. Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. Yeah. Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. Yes. For I know the plans I have for you, for plans you. for good. Uh, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, story up to there. Uh, so that's how I I, I was. Then I now, of course, I grew up. Yes. And my mom picked me up to be the baby. Mm-hmm. So now you're the only baby she has at this point. No. Mm-hmm. I have an elder sister. Oh, okay. Who is also kind of adopted. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to tell her story. Oh, yes. She the has baby. her story to yes. tell. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I had an elder sister. Mm-hmm. So I was the second kid ah, she was okay. having. Yeah, okay. So it was, um, now this is story as told yes. by my mother. Yes. 
uh, of course, I stayed in the incubator for 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 two months. Mm -hmm. Just to go back a little bit, mm -hmm. the story I hear about this lady who was aborting. Mm -hmm. She was a young girl. I think she was in high school, and uh, I think she was under pressure from the parents. Yeah, and I think and the, the parents, then yeah, and then I think yeah. the parents were also well off mm -hmm. in the society. Oh, okay. And I also think the parents were church, no church offense, people, yes. church people. So mm -hmm. it was really an embarrassment to the family for this young girl. So I think she was under pressure, and that's why I forgive her. Even if I met her today, I already forgive her. You have never met? I've never met have her. Have you tried to look for her? Or have <sighs> you had the thought to? Let me, let me go back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Mm -hmm. Let me go back. Mm -hmm. When, when um, the, following, the following day, mm -hmm. when they came to, th when this lady was discharged yes. from hospital, yes. they were notified that your fetus actually Inside. yeah survived okay. and if you want to see her mm -hmm. or you want you know yes. and what i hear and they just say no 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 that was not our plan kill the fetus like even if it survived kill, kill it. it yeah so pause there mm -hmm. thinking about looking for her i have and this is because I never knew this. The story now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty. What I has never the story knew. been? What has the story I now? Your mom. I didn't know. Me, I knew this is my yeah. mom. This is my sister. Me, I have a normal kid growing up yeah. in this. Like going through life mm -hmm. normal, like yes. a normal kid. Mm -hmm. But if I like, I I look back mm -hmm. when I was younger. The things that I could remember about. I think I was eight mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, are, we, we had just moved to a new neighborhood, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. my mom had made a friend with a neighbor. Yes. Then this girl comes and tells me, she was called Riji. Riji comes and tells me, hey, you know what? You, you were bought. This is not your mother. Ah, me, I ran to my Talk about Udaku, eh? Na, me, me, Udaku, bio kwa made. Imagine VG. I didn't know In case you hear this story again, again. you will not believe it. Yeah. Remember, oh, my mother beat me. Exactly. But you know, family, yeah. your cousins, your aunties, they throw words here yeah, and there. Yeah, now yeah. I remember mm. them. That time, they never made sense. Yes. So fast forward to me doing class eight. Mm -hmm. So I told you I was born in Nairobi. Yes. Uh, when I was in class six. So uh, wait, after mm. you were born, mm. your mother moved now to Moranga, or yeah, at class six. Now when I was in class six okay. is when my mother moved right. to to Moranga. Mm -hmm. So I did my class six, seven, eight yes. in Moranga. Mm -hmm. God had blessed me with academia. Mm -hmm. If I may say it. So I used to, you know, be number one, number one in the location. Mm. You know, those people who get yeah. awards, certificates, you know. Those people who get <laughs> scoreboard. Nata <laughs> Huringi, <laughs> When our mother was there, I was you I used to be number one, you were not lying. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I have even photo evidence and certificates. <laughs> yes. But anyway, so um I did my class eight. I passed really well. Mm -hmm. And I was uh, admitted to a national school, uh, the Kenya High School. Mm -hmm. I, that one was like, you know, the story for, for the century. First of all, I'm com I come from a village school. You know those ones you go without mm. school? We are to, it's called Getogo Primary School, mm -hmm. P.O. Box, 86 Kangema. You have, you, you have to say that. You have to say that. It's a point to note. It's a mm -hmm. point to note. Mm -hmm. So I passed really well. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, national school it was good thing but you know not everyone in your family is happy True. for for your success and that's when this story became apparent now to me like where was your way to where was your now telling you to, point blank yeah and now now i'm, I'm a little bit grown mm -hmm. i do understand yes so i didn't even have a birth certificate wait do you and your mother look alike or 
or you are just like maybe I look like my dad or me I don't know but it never oh hit God. me we don't look alike <laughs> <laughs> but it never hit me me i was like totally yeah, innocent. innocent me ni kwa mtoto wa mama yangu me i you know even now bad me ni kwa mama yeah. yangu but anyway i didn't even have a birth certificate mm-hmm. so me they go to get my birth certificate hey, my birth certificate is coming with a different name kumbe me i grew up being called masingeri that's what my mother called me mm. but my certificate comes with sarah jerry so what happened is when i was born it was like a jubilation in that that hospital like they have rescued you know ah, finally yeah, like I mean, your mother was... is very happy because she's been looking for this one exactly and if i remember my childhood because you see i'll come from school and go there yeah. to maybe wait for my mom to finish her shift oh, or something she went on working in that yeah hospital. yeah yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. she worked there until when i was in class six. she retired actually okay. when we went shags mm-hmm. and everybody in the hospital loved me like everyone used to call me Jerry Vito Jerry Vito they loved but you know me I just thought oh, yeah, I'm a kid yeah. they just love it they love yeah. yeah then i would mm-hmm. you know i would i would come ho- I like closing day mm-hmm. so she'll come with certificates mm-hmm. i was number one they yeah, you know happy, hey yeah. they'll give me money that time they'll give me like 20 bob yeah 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 it's a yeah, lot yeah. of money then <laughs> so So fast forward that's how I became Sarah Masingeri because ah, me I grew okay. up okay mm-hmm. because there was confusion my mom is calling me Masi others are calling Sarah da, da 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 but anyway now I'm in from one go to high school still this story is following me you know but I'm still very naive but now it's becoming apparent ah hey one yeah, the day aunties won't rest they won't they rest yeah and they won't stop the matusi like okay i call it matusi mm-hmm. because it was really like subtle subtle shade they yeah. just just throwing shade so me I, i think from two from two december holidays mm-hmm. i decided i hey, uh, you mother you have to tell me the truth now now uh uh-uh, you just serious. tell me mm-hmm. yeah because now it's becoming really yeah. serious up to a point um sorry to say this one of my cousins wanted to like have sex with me and he told me i mean where see where to as in, you know to see. as in i mean i'm like, I mean, I'm like you're yeah. my cousin you yeah, know yeah, then i'm like where see where to you know so anyway so my mom that is when my mom told me this story now the whole Must thing have been a very hard story to tell for her it was she's not telling to you she told me that story the whole night it was at night i remember it was the whole night she kept on breaking down and trying to explain herself mm. and uh, i think at that point she felt like she, she did something wrong yeah sure. you know mm. and for me at form 3 now i'm going to form 3 mm. of course it did affect me yeah. a lot yeah and I became rebellious now. Yeah? So I'm like, eh, ndio maana uko na nichapa. You know how we used to be beaten <laughs> when we were kids, eh? Sana. Eh, sana. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, ndio maana uko na nichapa hiyo, eh? Because I'm not your kid, eh? eh? That's why I remember that trip you refused to pay for me. That was because yeah, that's because I was not. You know you start just Yeah, just looking for petty petty things. Yes. Yeah. I have never apologized to my mom, but I think I should apologize yeah. to her. Yeah. I gave her hard time. after that now oh from 3 from the whole of from 3 i gave her a hard time a hard time in that she couldn't tell me nothing you know my mom what are you telling me yeah like yeah but it really did affect me psychologically mm-hmm. when i went back to school now it became worse first of all the, um, Kenya High was not an easy school for me. Mm. I didn't come from a rich background and you learning with these rich kids and whatever yeah. whatever. So it was already stressful. Now plus this. Mm-hmm. At form 3 I started wetting my bed. Because of the stress. At that time I didn't know. It's until recently when when I started seeing a doctor yeah. who now explained to me what what was happening in my body yeah. at that time. You know. um fast forward we we sumbuana with my mom from 3 mm. from 4 mitamaliza <sighs> shule then i came i joined campus 
I grew up and now I understood. Yeah. And now I understood everything that happened, why it happened and I started being thankful to my mom first. Mm-hmm. Like you rescued me, you brought me up. My upbringing was good. It was full of love. She really did mm-hmm. love me. She does love me. Like when I say it was I was oblivious is because I was brought up with the same love. Like any Every, other like kids, any other kids. Yeah. She'll do birthdays for me. She'll buy me gifts, you know. Yeah. She loved me. And that's when I, I started saying, eh, hey, anyway, hakuna aja kukasirika. She did her best. I'm sure toki kwa waki badu wange kugonga. Ah, sasa sinasa kila mtu walikuwa na chapo. Ata nani. Very true, yeah. 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 But you see, at, at that rebellious stage and at that, you start loathing yes. yourself and you're like, I'm rejected. Why was I rejected? Yeah, Is it that? that then, yeah, I'm, am I not okay? I'm not, am I not enough? You know? And let me let me not lie to you it follows you it fo- that rejection follows, follows you, you throughout your life until you know how to manage it it won't go away even when simple things like going for a job interview and you don't get it it takes really you hurts, back yeah. it takes you back yeah. a failed relationship mm. it takes you back it takes you back to that that rejection mm. that you got the first rejection but then i grew up and um, me and my mom now uh, are okay she's a great friend she loves me tremendously mm. she will do anything um i'm grown up now mm-hmm. but if i go home today bado madhe unfichia food mtoto wangu ajakula Wangu, and she's very proud of me. She's very proud of my achievements. Mm. Um, anything I do, I built her a house the other day. She Before you continue, yeah. um, let's talk about a bit about school. Now you're done with Kenya High. Which school did you go to? So after Kenya High, the Kenya High School. Mm-hmm. Let, <laughs> let me correct. Even Kenya High is called the T. The Kenya High School. Brothers um, or sisters of Nairobi University. <laughs> <laughs> the V. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, I went to KU. I. Mm. But then people are. Uh, nowadays people are saying bad things about KU. And it's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> You're not feeling nice. <laughs> I'm not okay. <laughs> yeah. So I went to mm-hmm. KU. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, I graduated. I did BA, mm-hmm. uh, Econ. Okay. Then I graduated. I started my, my first job was, uh, was at Safaricom okay. call center. Oh, okay. Yep. So, yeah, I was in Simu for about uh, three years. Mm-hmm. Very exciting time of my life. You know, I was young, mm-hmm. ambitious. I was, you know, I think Safaricom molded me in some way. At the same time, I, I, I managed to do my master's mm-hmm. degree yes. at the <laughs> University of Nairobi. <laughs> The University of Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Later on, I worked for a, a startup called Bridge International Academies. Okay. Um, I stayed there for for three years, mm-hmm. and now I'm um, working at the British Council, the British <laughs> Council, <laughs> the British Council, where, as I had said, I manage exams for yes. East and West Africa. Okay. Yeah. See where God can take you, and this is so amazing. Yeah. Yes. Like. From down there, now you're working with the British Council. I mean, not many people yeah. who are there, you know. Yeah. It's such a platform. And um, you were talking about now what you have done for your mom. Eh? Yeah. And you be grateful for what your mom did for you. Yeah. Um, for me, what I feel mm-hmm. is the way God says, Atakwandalia meza mbele amadui wako. Yes. I feel that's what exactly God has done yes. to me. Sometimes people use this phrase yes. with pride. Mm-hmm. I'm not using this phrase with pride. Yes. I'm using it with humility. Yes. Because my destiny was death. The first intention of whoever brought me to this world yes. was death. Mm-hmm. But see what God has done. See, um, just before I go to s- talk about how my relationship with my mom has changed, yeah. after I got my baby, mm-hmm. my daughter, Yes. I now 
did get to know what love is. Even if my mom did everything, yes. you know, it was what a parent will do. Yes. But there's a bond between a mother and, and a, a daughter oh, okay. or a child mm -hmm. that can't be bought, can't be equated to anything. And that's the bond I have with my daughter. And that's when I realize what it is to have family. You know? Yes. That's, it, it really changed my perspective perspective in life. Mm -hmm. I, re I love my daughter to death and mm -hmm. I make sure I have a relationship with her. Why I didn't have a relationship with my mom at that time, one, mm -hmm. because of all this, mm -hmm. by the time I'm a teenager, by the time, you know, I, I need her mm -hmm. to maybe guide me in life and whatever mm -hmm. is when I'm being rebellious yes. because now I've just realized this whole mm -hmm. scandal. Yeah. And two, the age factor. Yes. My mom got me when she was already old mm. so we couldn't relate when i was a teenager we couldn't relate in True. in many things yes but now after getting my daughter and knowing true love and knowing family the value mm. of family how my daughter loves me yes that's when my relationship with my mom changed mm -hmm. and i i started loving her the way I think she deserves to be loved, you know, like a daughter. And that, because th that time it mm -hmm. was, uh, it was more, you know, got naishi, but now there's a relationship between me and my mom. Mm. At least we can talk on the phone of our life and everything. It has really changed, um, and me building her house is because we to Moranga, yeah, landslide nazo. Kabisa. Kabisa. So. Moranga na nanga ivi ko meshikili. Eh, awa ya pana na na izi ba figa. Ah, ivi za Moranga. Yeah, so our house was struck by a landslide, and uh, so my mom needed somewhere to stay. Mm -hmm. We put our uh, Plans together, my yes. sister and I yes. did a nice house for her, mm -hmm. and she's grateful. She's happy. We take good care of her. We've um, at least put people there to help her farm work and whatever. And I can say, and if you want to say I'm bragging, I'm bragging. You know, mm -hmm. I, I I'm not going to mince this one. Yes, my mom has. My mom is from a big family. I yes. think they were eleven in their oh, family wow. or mm -hmm. something, I mm -hmm. don't know. But I think my mom is one of the siblings who is living a very life. good life. quality of life. Yeah. You know, you know, quality of life. You know, she's happy, she's, you know, a corner luxuries, yes. a pale. when she's sick, we, we just don't let her, you know, we make sure we bring her to Nairobi, good yeah. take, take good care of her. Yeah. And for, for me just to maybe one encourage any woman out there mm -hmm. who is going through this yes you can get a kid and you're you're going through the motions yes of you not being able to get a kid and those people who have rainbow babies and all that eh? your god sees my mother's god was seeing all that True. you know I feel like if she did get her own babies, probably she would have not had that love to be like, I am looking for a baby. Maybe she would have not taken you. Maybe the nurses would have killed you, the, like your mother had said. You yeah, know, you yeah. never know what her what would have happened. Actually, like, they, used to, for they used to put them in bed pans outside. No, the dead ba babies, no, or it doesn't that's really matter. Now, eh? Kama hakuna mtu anakutaka, sivu ulikuwa pia, yeah, ulikuwa yeah, plan yako. True. They used to put them in bed pans. But you know that at that time, what are you? You're just rains. Yeah, yeah true. And hmm. it's... Just not <laughs> really, really <laughs> formed. Because you know, when my mom talks about it, because hmm. her now, even when I have all this weight, I've really yes. gained weight, eh? yes. she still sees me as she saw me that day. And she tells me, because first, um, you, you, you can't always see Nyonya. 
mm. you don't know ujafika hapo yes. so they will give you milk with syringe like a yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, formula mm. with so they'll put it with sindano and syringe it into your mouth yeah. because you don't know how to feed and also the, that lack of inaitwa je colostrum maziwa ya kwanza zote hana sasa unajua sasa ajaza sasa ni siku nyonya kabisa kabisa sikupata hiyo colostrum and you know that one is the one that really gives the baby the immune and the immune system so i was ever a sickly kid kila time that is the sisi tulikuwa dos tulikuwa na shitao so watu wa Nairobi bontao watu wa tunaishi huko Nairobi town sasa hata kukimbia hospitali ni haraka haraka you know but i was a sickly kid but anyway so for any woman who is going through that just remember your god has a plan as we say in Jeremiah 29:11 yes and if you trust in his plan cuz i i'm thinking but at that time when i'm, I'm nothing mm-hmm. or that time when i'm sickly mm-hmm. my mom didn't have hope alikuwa tu nafikiria hata katakufa tu kama mtoto wengine you know mm. but and even that time when i was rebellious I think my mom could have lost hope. It's just like hapa ah, nilifanya kazi ya bure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean this kid is not even grateful for exactly all done. that sacrifice yeah. I, I made but God anakwanga God has a has a plan. Yes. And it's just for you to trust in his for plan. Sure. Mm-hmm. Like he, the end product utapenda. That's what I, I can tell that woman mm. who is um, going through through this. Yes. God atakuplania tu as in somehow cuz my mom would have never known on that day December 22nd that kuna mtu ataka mapo na I get mtu imsupuka mimi unajua hapo sana sana eh mhm ako mhm angejua angejua mka tu kawaida anaenda job yeah, yeah. kawaida mm-hmm. but God anakuanga tu anaona vitu zako anakupanga so for that woman God anakupangia vitu zako secondly for adopted kids imagine it's not rejection it may feel like rejection mm-hmm. and it will as i said it will never stop feeling like sure. you are rejected but it's god's plan it's god's plan for sure it, it's really god's plan and wherever god has put you as an adopted kid in the place god amekuweka please mwambie akupatie grace ya kujuali kuweka hapo kwa nini you need to know why god placed you where god placed you because god is not a fool yeah. to of all the families of all of all everyone in the world picked you and placed you somewhere yeah. mm. it sometimes adopted kids also go through a lot of because you see you're, you're not living with someone who is your blood yes. you, you need to understand that and it's a fact and there are some people who are cruel and they really take adopted kids through a lot, a lot of things, things yeah. a yeah. lot of nasty nasty bad things yeah mm-hmm. but even in that position as an adopted kid just ask God to to let you know why he put you in that space was it to teach a lesson or you was it for you to be a conqueror yeah. was it to build your character yes you know mm-hmm. god must have a reason you don't know mm-hmm. but you need to ask god to give you grace yes. to to figure it to out to figure it out yeah for women who are both mm-hmm. for women who willingly or willingly due to circumstances or whatever god has forgiven you for me the lady who ke- i'll call her lady mm. I'll never call you I'll never call her my mother. She ain't bio, you know that name people say biological mother. Ah, uh, biological and I don't care. True. But that lady, I forgive her. I don't know what will happen if I ever meet her. I haven't I have thought and uh, in that rebellious state, mm. I will look for people who look like me, mm. women and I will really like I stare thinking maybe you're my mom I'll avoid dating light skin guys because I will think guy you well, you're maybe you're my brother <laughs> <laughs> or my uncle or something you know yeah I, I had that thought but then what alafu nimpate alafu it will really hurt my mom let's start from there 
A hundred percent. A hundred percent. That is the last thing I'll want to do. Yeah. But even if I ever met her, imagine I forgive her and it will just be kawaida ni sawa to me onana umeniona umeona what you missed in life but yeah. yako mbaya i feel it was an important stage the forgiveness part yeah and it has taken time mm-hmm. it has but taken it time easy. it has taken time for me to to stop hating i used to hate that woman and i used to hate her mother who brought her yeah oh she came with the mother the mother is the one who brought her Oh, okay. I used to hate church because I knew I was being rejected so that because the church, church doesn't no I won't mention I won't mention which church but yeah. it's a particular denomination. Ah, okay. Yeah, and I used to see women in that church and I would just like hate yeah, them. Yeah. I'm just like you all hypocrite. You wanted me to die, you know. Yeah. But it has taken way 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 it's a journey. It's a journey it's to me. get here. Mm. and to heal and to actually be able to tell these stories without crying <laughs> i i think kitabu ni kana lia i actually have really tried it's not an easy story to tell but it's a beautiful journey i feel like that's how we can just say it is just a beautiful journey yeah cuz you never know you've been be somewhere maybe you didn't even manage to get where you are today you took the story and you cut your care you know yeah. and you're like oh i was rejected i don't have to be good in life you do other things you know you do drugs you do you things waste you, your, yeah, you waste your life you yeah. know but you took your story you stood by it you embraced you have embraced it and now you're here today because of your story which is a beautiful beautiful story and i hope it will encourage someone out there unless there's something else does. you want to add i hope it does really mm-hmm. encourage somewhere out there manzi people go through a lot of things yes you don't have to carry even if it's the shame yes. or the burden what you are to and live your life yes. you know mm. um her soul if you're hustling yeah. work hard you mm-hmm, know mm. let it not bog you don't don't mm-hmm. let it bog you down yes. you know at mm-hmm. all the time mm-hmm. or when you maybe someone tells you you're beautiful then you're just like mm-hmm. as in you know mm. you don't even you believe yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. it's good to carry your pain mm-hmm. and embrace it as you have said it yes. but don't let it be that um, you know how they like say like you've been chained oh yeah it's like, like you've chain. been you've been chained to a, a boulder or a yes. stone mm-hmm. and then you you know you're walking just keep with pulling it you everywhere. back yeah exactly mm-hmm. don't let that just cut the shackles mm-hmm. and move on with life very true yeah and i like that today as much as you're saying we are both bossing up with business we are bossing up even emotionally right yeah and mentally and i mean you cannot start a business when your emotions and you are not stable you have to be there fully and uh, tell us your story tell us where you have been it's been an amazing show thank you for accepting to tell your story with us for the first time i am very <laughs> honored to, i know <laughs> yeah. i'm very honored to be the first one to hear this story and may god bless you i know he's taking you in better places not even this i mean this is not the end uh-huh. it's going to get better and god bless you guys please don't forget to subscribe share this video comment like and until next time goodbye